All right, thank you, Andrea. Now to the terror attack at the Boston Marathon as tonight a city and a nation mourn the victims lost there. Right now, a little more than 24 hours after the twin bombings, hundreds packed a candlelight vigil in Boston for the victims. Here's the scene in the Boston Common as participants sang patriotic songs and prayed for peace. President Obama plans to take part in a prayer service to honor the victims. We've also learned that the third fatality in the attack was a female graduate student at Boston University. Live team coverage now with Tom Rousey live in Boston, but let's begin with Jay Korf, who has more on just released evidence in this case. Jay? Leon, tonight a mother whose daughter was killed talks about her loss, but first we want to show you startling images just into the newsroom. Now the FBI sent out pictures in a security bulletin to law enforcement agencies across the country. This picture is what was left of one of the backpacks believed to be holding a common pressure cooker turned explosive device. And this is a picture of part of the twisted pressure pressure cooker. Investigators believe it was filled with pieces of metal and turned into a lethal IED. Federal officials are now saying the explosives that killed three and injured more than 170 were likely from a pressure cooker stuffed with nails and ball bearings that when placed on the ground and detonated caused catastrophic damage to victims' legs. They both lost the leg. Um, Below the knee. I really don't know too much because it's just so overwhelming. It's like a nightmare. Investigators believe whoever planted the bombs concealed them in dark colored duffel bags. A mangled piece of one of those bombs was recovered and is being analyzed at Quantico here in Virginia. We are asking anyone who may have heard someone speak about the marathon or the date of April 15th in any way that indicated that he or she may target the event to call us. Someone knows who did this. Three lives were lost Monday, an unidentified Boston University graduate student, eight-year-old Martin Richard of Boston, and 29-year-old Crystal Campbell of Medford, Massachusetts. Everybody that knew her loved her. Patty Campbell says her daughter, a restaurant manager, was beloved by all. I couldn't ask for a better daughter. I can't believe this has happened. She was such a hard worker at everything she did. This doesn't make any sense. While some survivors face many more surgeries, others are improving and showing remarkable resolve. They're really amazing people. Uh, some of them woke up today with no leg, and they told me that they're happy to be alive. Authorities are imploring the public if they saw anything unusual in the days leading up to the attack. Someone researching explosives or setting off explosives as a test or maybe directing angst at the Boston Marathon to contact them immediately. We should note no one has come forward to claim responsibility. Live in the newsroom, Jay Korf, ABC 7 News.